Here's a question I'm getting asked pretty frequently. How is this Ukraine crisis going to affect the overall housing market? Now I want to preface this with, I'm not a war expert. I'm not, you know, the expert on world geography and how everything's going to play out. But I will share what I do know. What I know is that typically during times of crisis, the government wants to continue to have money flowing in and out of the economy. So what they'll do to promote that is the lower interest rates. We've been seeing interest rates start to hike up throughout the year here in 2022, and everyone's kind of been predicting that they're going to continue to hike up. But what we weren't counting on is what started taking place in Ukraine. So what I think will happen is the government will see themselves in a situation where they say, hey, we need to make sure that we keep the money flowing. So let's go ahead and lower interest rates, which allows people to continue to lock in these very low rates for long terms, which results in the housing continuing to stay strong because we still have an inventory issue. There's still basic supply and demand that we're having a hard time meeting the demand that's taking place and creating enough supply to keep up with that. Add to that that during these times of crisis and during recessions and during scary times, people a lot of times start to stray away from the stock market. They say, hey, it's too volatile. We're seeing, you know, from lows to highs, we're seeing about a 15 point spread there. And it just becomes a little bit scary. And people also don't want to just have their money sitting in the bank because you know potential inflation is taking place there. And they want to put their money somewhere and somewhere that they feel is safe. Housing being a real asset, people can go in, look at it, you can touch it, it's, it's real, right? It creates an emotion, it creates an experience in which people say, you know, I trust that people need housing, they need places to live. So I think more money will be transferred out of the stock market, will be transferred out of, you know, riskier investments, Bitcoin, different cryptocurrencies, and then they'll take and they'll wanna inject that into housing. And we could spend a lot of other times talking about how our population growth, especially here in Utah, continues to go up, how we're continuing to have the highest birth rate in the nation, how we're continuing to have jobs come over here, how we continue to have one of the lowest unemployment rates in the whole nation and really the whole world. We can continue talking about how that helps, how that helps the local economy, how that helps the housing market. But if we just take a look at the first two that I looked at, I think we still have another few years of very strong market here in Utah and of continued appreciation. I don't know if we're going to continue to see the rate of appreciation that we saw during 2020, I like guess second round of 2020 and 2021 and the first quarter that we've seen here in 2022. I don't know if we're going to continue at that rate, but I do think that we are going to continue to see it go up. If you guys have any questions on the housing market or what we can do for you here in Utah, feel free to reach out. We're always happy to have a conversation and help out wherever we can.